Hello and welcome to the Caymanas Park Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we recap select races from Saturday, May 18 and Sunday, May 19, 2024. 18 races were on offer over the two-day race carnival. Saturday's feature was the Seeking My Dream Trophy, while Sunday's main event was the Monday Morning Trophy. Let's begin with race one from Saturday. This was the awesome Power Trophy, a maiden condition event for local bred three-year-old fillies going a distance of seven and a half furlongs. A nine-horse field with jockey Radish Roman getting the mount of the two to five favorite Immeasurable Joy. Solace continues to act up in gate four. Looks to have settled there off. Queen Vaughna, Ruby's Light, Design Diva, they all got off slow. Immeasurable Joy didn't and goes for that lead with a speedy Princess Fiani racing down on the outside and now Princess Fiani grabs the lead. Narrowly though, over Kaylin's Melody rushing up on the outside as they lead the six and Kaylin's Melody now takes over narrowly from Princess Fiani. A gap of four or five lengths to Immeasurable Joy. A valley of lures racing on the outside, solid splitting horses and filling the sandwich. A break back as they lead the five or maybe six lengths to Queen Vaughan. A design diva right on the tail of that one. Have a joy in the orange races up next and a ruby's light yet to shine. A half a mile to run. They go spinning into the turn. The turn for home and Kaylin Melody is now asked to steal it and slips away by some three lengths. Princess Fiani in pursuit. A valley of love races further back. Maybe six or seven up that lead. Solace is next with immeasurable joy. Have a joy now under the pump as they leave the three. Joined by design a diva. Queen Vaughan toward the back and forget Ruby's light needing a tow truck as they're about to come into the top of the lane. They're there now and it is Kaylin's Melody under a ride. Princess Fiani asked to attack on the outside the favorite immeasurable joy has lengths to make up as they charge past the final 316 princess fiani on the outside kaylin melody on the rail immeasurable joy continues to try to reel them in but they're at the final furlong and it's princess fiani continuing to fight on tevin foster and princess fiani with the lead from kaylin melody a length and a half separates them princess fiani holding the advantage over kaylin melody who was now Admitted defeat, and Princess Fiani beats Kaylin Melody, then immeasurable joy design diva, a valley of love. The awesome power trophy goes to Kaylin Melody by the Sewer Room. Robert Haldane there for Robert Pearson, and owner Hedley Davis. Kaylin Melody led for the first six furlongs, and uh, thought that was a bit of a hurried ride, though, uh, trying to make all the run in there. Ridden to the lead early, and uh, in the end, uh, finished second and got first. After the disqualification of Princess Fiani, Princess Fiani disqualified to cause interference to immeasurable joy after an objection and inquiry. So the numbers I gave you there were 8, 1, 6, and 9. And after objection, disqualification, the numbers came back 8, 1, 6. <laughs> and the fourth was number 2. So the 8, 1, 6, you got that as the exact up, 253. Quinella, 172. The trifecta. 362. So after all this time around, the changes work in favor of my number. So good going there. A controversial finish to open the Saturday card. First past the post, Princess Fiani disqualified and placed behind third past the post, Immeasurable Joy. New places now read Kaylee Melody first, Immeasurable Joy second, and Princess Fiani demoted to third. Race 3 from the Saturday card was a restricted allowance event covering 8 furlongs or a mile. A field of 8 declared to go postward. Breaking from the 1 draw was the lone importer in the lineup, Spencer Chung's Tiger Amidat. First start, Tiger Amidat dwelt a bit but now begins to make up ground. Power of Her Highness took off jet like and grabs that early lead. War Horse is chasing. Empress Lynx, the favorite, now moving down into second, ahead of War Horse in third. Always Right and Money Box come next as they make the way, flashing up past the six. Power of Her Highness with a length advantage as they lead the six. Empress Lynx stalking in second. Always Right, a length and a half further back, racing in third. Money Box is a length back and running in fourth. Tiger Amidat now making ground against the rail. War Horse is next, they lead the five. A blitz strike, second to last, and last of all, it's the great charming sound as they're heading toward the final half of a mile in this, the third event. They arrive at the mile, and Power of Her Highness continues to lead. The rider having a peep over his shoulder. They have a two-length advantage. Empress Lynx, the favorite, now asked to get closer with Always Right. A money box and Tiger Amidat team up in behind. Maybe five lengths separates that bunch, leaving the three. Blitz Strike is a further four lengths back and under a ride. Forget Warhorse at the moment, along with Charming Sound. 
They're coming into the top of the lane, a quarter of a mile left, and they're into it now, and Empress Lynx has now snatched that lead. Always right is racing in second. On the rail, that's Tiger Amidat, Power of Her Highness, and Moneybox coming in behind, but the favorite Empress Lynx is holding the lead and beginning to extend it. They're about to arrive at the furlong pole. It is Empress Lynx out in front with what now looks to be a commanding advantage. It's the Sneaky Fox, Radish Roman. He's going to get off the mark with Empress Lynx, and Empress Lynx, the favorite, comes coasting in to win by maybe five. Tiger Amidat running on for second. Always right is third. A money box is fourth. Power of Her Highness fading back into fifth. Empress Lynx, the favorite, delivers the goods with Radia Sneaky Fox Roman in the Saturday for Trina Barrington Bernard. And the lead is now cut down to seven. So things are getting closer and closer between the top two riders. Radia Roman now on 44 wins for the season. Runner up Tiger Amidat completed that exactum. $410 for the exact and the Quinella Plus is almost $448 in dividends there for the Quinella. 728 tickets are live on the Brega 6 and the Catch 9 has 46. Radish Roman aboard the 4 to 5 favorite Empress Lynx breaking away from the pack at the quarter mile and kept the pace through to the finish. Tiger Amidat was second, always right third and Moneybox finishing in fourth. Race 6 an optional claiming event for three-year-olds and up, also six-year-olds and up, non-winners of four. A 14-horse field reduced to 13 with the scratch of Secret Traveler from the Wilfred Chin Barn. They're off and racing. Drone Strike misses it, along with Master of All, as they head towards the uh, six furlong point, and it is JJ Warrior that leads. Lion Talk is right there, too. Over on the right against the rail, that's Drone Strike recovering after that bad break. Then comes Angelos. Delay the game is right there too. Also coming out in the middle, that is a traditional boy as they go past the five. Then comes up Sixth Avenue, right beside Sixth Avenue, that's Dee's Choice. Then comes Expeditious, behind Expeditious, that is Master of All. Then comes Pro Johnny as they come towards the four, right in flight and left at the back of the field, that's Nala's Bushman. They head towards the three, and it is making the running. JJ Warrior, just the leader, being owned on the outside of JJ Warrior, that's delayed the game, but it is delay the game now that point from JJ Warrior JJ Warrior right there too here comes traditional boy looking ominous and coming forward but it is delay the game and the JJ Warrior these are the two that's fighting for it on the outside and coming on that's master of all along with traditional boy has delay the game that strikes the front from here comes the master of all heating up the ground on the outside it's delay the game still keeping on from master of all on the outside delay the game and now master of all points from the lady game left back against the rail also coming on that's a pro Johnny but it's the late it's master of all beginning to pull away and master of all will land this one master of all going on to win by two lengths finishing second that's delay the game got tight for the miners so the longest shot of the board at 74 to 1 master of Hall in a field of 13 runners Richard Burton is out of to Michael Thomas and that was a massive upset winner. Congratulations to the 24 winners of the Vega 6 having Master of Hall stepping up from 250 up to 400,000. Wow, you did well. A 74 to 1 outsider and the longest shot on the board. Master of Hall stages a massive upset. Richard Bird in the saddle for trainer Michael Thomas and owner Jolene Thomas. They stopped the clock in 1 minute 34 and 4 fifths of a second. Race 7 was the day's feature, the Seeking My Dream Trophy named after Horse of the Year back in 2015 and 2016. A four-time classic winner taking the Jamaica Derby in 2015, the Diamond Mile in 2015 and 16, and also winner of the Prime Minister's Stakes in 2016. Dr. Michael Sims, not quite ready at the moment, now he is, they're off. For the Seeking My Dream trophy. Sunity and Chippy Taurus boy the slowest to leave. Mahogany with a big weight totes it well on the outside. Mamma Mia moving up as the speed jewel now is on. As they make their way down the back stretch, and Mamma Mia, the lightweight, has that lead of the big weighted Mahogany. They leave the six. A gap of some six or seven lengths to Divine Force with work to do. A break of some four to Taurus boy. Further and beyond in the Gold Six races, second from the back, and Sunity and Chippy brings up the rear. 
They've left the five. They've run now toward the final half of a mile in the Seeking My Dream. And Mamma Mia, the fleet-footed filly, leads up. Mahogany continues the chase. A length and a piece back as they swing past the half mile. A gap of six or more to Divine Force. Taurus Boy, three lengths further back. A break of some four to further and beyond. And a stoked up Sunny T and Chippy. But the leaders arrive at the three. They have a commanding advantage, these two. Mamma Mia now tested by Mahogany as they arrive at the 516th. They're about to come into the lane. The filly, a Mamma Mia down on the rail. Mahogany, the big weight on the outside, now kicking in, and Mahogany takes a slim lead. Mamma Mia will try the fight back on the rail, but Mahogany at the moment looks to be too strong. Inside the final 316th, it is Mahogany out in front, responding to a touch or two of the right-hand stick. Mamma Mia continues the chase further and beyond now, asked to close upon the outside. It is Mahogany, a 16th to run with that lead. Action pack, Ray and Lewis all over Mahogany. Here is further and beyond exploding on the outside, further and beyond, grabs him, and wins the Seeking My Dream. Mahogany is second, Mamma Mia looks to be just third over Divine Force. That's uh, the former horse of the year, further and beyond. Return to the winner's enclosure in the Seeking My Dream trophy. A double on the card for Radish Roban, and he's riding very well. The visor was wisely removed by trainer Donovan Hutchinson, and uh, that one came from off the pace today, tried to make the, the Running last time out, led for seven front of the 925 contest and was beaten the second by within buzz. But today the visor is off and this one sits way behind the speedsters, Mamma Mia, Mahogany, and runs them down in deep stretch. Mahogany disposed of Mamma Mia, but had little tank in the gas to hold on from the late charge of the former horse of the year further and beyond. A good run by the former horse of the year further and beyond, going off at odds of five to one with the sneaky fox Radish Roman in the saddle beating the 1-5 to five favorite Mahogany in second, Mamma Mia in third, and completing the final top four was Divine Force. Saturday's ninth and final was a maiden condition event for native bred four-year-olds and up, a competitive 13-horse field set to go seven furlongs. Glittering Magnum from the one draw with Radish Roman in the saddle was getting majority of the betting and sent off at 5-2. to two. Field and nine, they're off for the ninth and final. Game to fame, went in last and has left last at the back of the field early as they charge down the back stretch. Glittering Magnum going for that lead. Toots right there on the premises. Lambo Girl is there. You look okay. Atomic Energy toward the outside. Storm Boy. These are the first set as they head toward the five. Veliki Vicky, the gray race is in behind them. A gap opens up to the other gray, a roaring thunder. Game to fame making ground, overtaking smart player. Clowning around in the blue races up next. Then security code and double the cash at the back of the field. They're about to flash past the half mile and go sprinting into that turn and glittering Magnum has to be caught. Lambo Girl is a length and a half back. Veliki Vicky now taking aim. Toots not too far away to land a blow. Toward the outside, that's a, a storm boy. Atomic Energy now has to make some progress. You look okay. And a game to fame race up as a team toward the outside, Roaring Thunder. Then clowning around, smart player, double the cash and security code has backed out into last. They're coming into the top of the lane. Glittering Magnum in a battle with Veliki Vicky. These two going at it. Toots is over against the fence. Lambo Girl racing wide toward the extreme outside too. That is a storm boy, but they are thundering up the stretch toward the final furlong. And the gray Veliki Vicky has taken charge on that lead and now looks to be slipping away from them. It is Veliki Vicky under the stick. Inside the final 16th, Veliki Vicky and Roderick Nacosta will take the last in fine style. They win by maybe five and a half to six. Glittering Magnum is second, turning around third. Toots is fourth. Could be Storm Boy fifth over game to fame. The veteran jockey Roger Nacosta takes Saturday's curtain closer in a convincing six and three quarters of a length win margin over second place finisher Glittering Magnum. The 17 to one long shot clowning around was third and the pair of Toots and Storm Boy completed the high five. It's now time for a break on the Kimana's Highlight Show. On the other side, we'll recap select races from Sunday, May 19th. Welcome back to the Kimana's Park Highlight Show. In the second half of our presentation, we'll recap select races from Sunday, May 19th. Let's begin with race number five. This was a maiden condition event for native bred three-year-olds and up a fairly wide open field with four debutants competitively facing the starter for the first time. Jockey Radish Roman complimenting the odds of Trust Fund Baby at 4-5 to five favorite wager. Uh, they're off 
for the fifth. Trust Fund Baby gets a good start. Undeclared war racing in behind him. Undisclosed location is now being driven along in the early exchanges as they sort themselves out and it's a Trust Fund Baby coming near to us. The Miracle Angel not too far away. Golden Lawyer and Undeclared War a race up together as they sort themselves out and come charging now toward us. Trust Fund Baby with that lead, showing some good speed. The Miracle Angel now trying to close up. Drifting toward the far side, that's a ride, not a ride. Undisclosed location in the white now races in between horses, but it's Trust Fund Baby from undisclosed location now coming through with a charge. And undisclosed location now grabs the lead from Trust Fund Baby. Inside the final 16th, it's undisclosed location. An action pack, Ray and Lewis, he'll have a double on the card. Trust Fund Baby battling, possibly just second over Oil Machine. The Miracle Angel, undeclared war, looks to be fifth. Nice win by Undisclosed Location. First time out for Trader Anthony Nudis and uh, Ray Lewis, the champion jockey in the side. He's on a double for the day so far. So he's right as well, Undisclosed Location. That work on the 30th of May, 5 for down straight in 102 alongside Legit Boss. They did 47 for the half mile as I pointed out preview time. And clearly, Undisclosed Location reported well advanced for his debut run. And that debut run was a winning one. Undisclosed location with the reigning champion jockey Ryan Lewis in the saddle for trainer Anthony Baba Nunes and owner Doville Stables beating the likes of Trust Fund Baby, The Miracle Angel and Oil Machine in fourth. Race 6 on the Sunday card was the day's feature event, the Monday Morning Trophy. A restricted allowance event going 7 furlongs or 1400 meters, a modest field of 11 set to go postward with 3 and 40s in the lineup breaking from gigs 4, 9, and 11. They're off and racing. Missing it a bit, that is Playfair is left at the back of the field, coming out awkwardly as Amma takes that lead from California Crown Racing in second as they pass to six. Then comes Global Machine in third, right there in fourth, that's Bold Move. Coming up on the rail, that is Buttercup. Then comes Riches to Rag. Behind that one, that's Lady Loren. Then comes Chesney. Six lengths away before we come to Don't Tell Lulu and racing at the back of the field, the slow starting play pair. They go towards the four furlong point and it is Amma just margin of the leader from racing in second about a length and a piece away that's california crown racing in a third about four lengths away in third or maybe three lengths that's global machine then another four before we come to bold move recovering also coming on on the outside that riches to rag right against the rail though that is Buttercup there coming at the top of the lane. And now California Crown goes on for that lead. It's California Crown. Amma still there on the rail. It's California Crown in front of Amma coming down on the outside. That's Riches. That is Riches to Rag. But it's, it's California Crown turning them back, coming to the furlong pole in the Monday morning trophy. It's California Crown in front and looks to have flown out of the grass to deep. But coming on the outside though, Riches to Rag. But California Crown is Omen Dry. California crown by about four and a half lengths from finishing second that is uh, which is direct then comes Amma cut tight for fourth close between Chesney and uh, Buttercup Robert Hardball Halladine aboard the three to five favorite California crown a three-year-old chestnut colt bred by Lakeland Farms Limited trained and conditioned by the champion trainer Jason Acosta for the champion owner for the champion owner, Carlton Watson. The seventh event on the Sunday card was a restricted lungs event, going nine furlongs and 25 yards or 1,820 meters, more affectionately dubbed the spectator's treat for its intimate starting position just in front of the stand fence. Yield of six, take part. They're off. Super Alex, Mr. Senator, just a beat slowly out. Sweet victory, got a good start, goes for that lead. Harassed early by Captain Philip pulling alongside. Mr. Senator, the Gray is racing widest of them all as they run the clubhouse turn and arrive at the mile. Captain Philip ekes out a narrow advantage over Mr. Senator. Sweet victory right there on the rail, the Gray in third. Super Alex is in fourth, possibly three and a half lengths separates them. Brown Skin Girl is a further five lengths back and a gap to Wizkid. 
They've left the seven and take to the back stretch on the run toward the final six furlongs. And out in front, Mr. Senator by the flare of a nostril. Captain Philip is there. Super Alex running out three wide as they flash past the six. Sweet Victory needs to find some six or seven lengths to get to them. Brown Skin Girl now on the go. And remaining last, it's Whiskid. They're about to leave the back stretch as they have left the five, and Super Alex joins Mr. Senator. They match strides. They're pulled away by some five or six lengths. Being chased all the while by Captain Philip. Brown Skin Girl now goes a hunting and begins to make progress. Sweet Victory has more to find as they charge away now, leaving the 7 16th. And last of all remains Whiskid as the war up front continues. Mr. Senator now goes on by a half a length. Super Alex continues to stick to the task as they leave the three. A gap back to Brown Skin Girl. In behind that one, Sweet Victory. Whiskid has overtaken Captain Philip, the new trailer, as they've left the 5 16th and they'll come into the top of the lane, a quarter of a mile to catch the favorite, Mr. Senator. He continues to lead. Super Alex trying hard. Brown Skin Girl now creeping closer down against the rail. They race toward the furlong pole. It is Mr. Senator. Brown Skin Girl on the rail. Whiz Kid now kicking in on the outside. Mr. Senator continues to hold on to the lead, but here is a Whiz Kid flying wide, and Whiz Kid now grabs the lead from Mr. Senator. Brown Skin Girl is accelerating down against the rail. It's Whiz Kid and Brown Skin Skin Girl could be Brown Skin Girl, but it's close over Whiskid, then Mr. Senator and Super Alex. Brown Skin Girl with Abigail Abel in the saddle position of Costa and Elizabeth Costa. They get the win in race number seven and a very close finish there. Whiskid, my top choice, the smart play. I was balling soup a further out when Whiskid came forward, and uh, all of a sudden I realized that the left hand stick was not applied again. And uh, I had a look at the replay a while ago, and from the top of the lane, I counted the amount of strikes with uh, the left hand whip by Siobhan Taunted, and I counted 10. And I said, well, there you go, that's why I'm stopped, <laughs> because he was reached his quota. And then Whiskey just didn't continue lunging forward. Kind of knocked a little bit there and lost by a neck, so, well, there you go. And that was a good price horse, Whiskey, and neck second, there to Brown Skin Girl. A fitting combination between the lady of racing jockey Abigail Abel and Brown Skin Girl putting on a good ride in the final furlong to clinch a win from the fading Wiz Kid who had to settle for second. Mr. Senator and Super Alex finished third and fourth respectively. Sunday's ninth and final was an overnight allowance for the three-year-olds and up with a purse of 1.25 million Jamaican dollars or 8,000 US dollars. The distance five furlongs straight. A mixture of starts in the 14 horse field with jockey Abigail Abel looking for a double aboard the Michael Hall conditioned curlings flight. They're off. Jordan Reigns comes out pretty quickly. So too did a race car running toward the far side. As they're sorting themselves out on the far side too, that's curlings flight and rejected Roger. Jordan Reigns, though, is in the center and traveling strong. Duke and Talona are the ones racing nearest the rail. Just in behind them in the red sleeves, that's a KP choice, but a Jordan Reigns matches strides. Posing already is in a handy position. Race car has more running to do toward the far side. Provocativa has drifted right over there, too. Duke now beginning to kick in down against the fence, but they've left the quarter pole behind them, and the Duke is right against the fence. In the center, in the white cap, that's the favorite. A Jordan Reigns, the battle is here. KP Choice now asked to come on. Posing already toward the far side in the blue cap, it is Jordan Reigns and Tevin Foster who continue to lead them. Here now is kicking in. That's KP Choice and Duke. But Jordan Reigns continues to hold that lead and holds it to the line to win by almost two lengths of a KP Choice. Then Duke posing already. Race Scar in a photograph for fifth with March and Shoot. The four to five favorite, Jordan Reigns, takes the final event on the card. Tevin Foster in the saddle securing a victory for trainer Peter John Fassard. They completed the five furlong strip in one minute and one fifth of a second flat. This has been another edition of the Caymanas Park Highlight Show. We'll see you next time.